liberal viewer present. So those of you who consistently watch my videos know that despite calling myself liberal viewer, I'm not quite a left-wing radical. So I was quite interested to see my increasingly favorite presidential candidate, Senator Barack Obama, appearing last Sunday on This Week with George Stephanopoulos, taking a similar, less radicalized approach in this clip. I'm not an ideologue. Uh, never have been. Uh, you know, even uh, during my younger days when I was tempted by, uh, you know, sort of more radical or left-wing politics, uh, there was a part of me that always uh, was a little bit conservative in that sense, uh, that, that believes that uh, you make progress by sitting down, listening to people, recognizing everybody's concerns, seeing other people's points of views, uh, and then making decisions. And it may be Obama's instinct to listen first that leaves some people with the impression that he does not have clearly defined views. In fact, if you check out Obama's website at the link I provide in the video description, you'll find detailed stances on strengthening America overseas, ending the war in Iraq, creating a health care system that works, and a great variety of other issues. The truth is, though, that many of the most pressing problems a President Obama will face in January 2009 have solutions that depend in great part on the facts then on the ground in Iraq, various other political and economic events that have not yet occurred, and even the makeup of the U.S. Congress that gets elected with President Obama in November 2008. So, rather than presenting political slogans as solutions, Obama recognized the need for honesty about complexity, as he pointed out here. One of the problems with political speeches is uh, that we all know what folks want to hear. We know who the conventional stereotypical enemies are on any given issue. And you know, we have a tendency, I think, to play up to that. And, and I actually think that we're in this moment in history right now where uh, honesty, uh, admitting complexity, is a good thing. And it's Obama's match with this particular moment in history that may be what makes his candidacy so compelling. Even conservative columnist George Will recognized this match here. He has perfect pitch, I think, for the mood of the country, which is a, a flinch from the rhetorical vitriol that is consuming this town. Uh, he's, he's a little bit like Ronald Reagan in this regard. Dem Reagan used to drive people crazy on the Democratic Party because they say, public doesn't agree with him on this or this or this or this, and they vote for him. They voted for him because they said, he, we like him, he's not off-putting, he's not frightening, and I think this is another 1980. And when conservative columnist George Will compares Barack Obama today to Ronald Reagan in 1980, something must really be happening. And Obama himself recognized his role as a bridge builder when he answered a question about his special qualities this way. Uh, I have the capacity to get people to recognize themselves in each other. Uh, I, I think that I have the ability to make people uh, get beyond some of the divisions that plague our society and to focus on common sense and, and, and reason. Uh, and that's been in short supply uh, over the last several years. So what do you think? Are we really at a particular moment in history that matches Barack Obama's brand of bridge building? And in today's partisan world, is it really possible that Barack Obama is the uniter, not a divider, that George W. Bush promised to be and never was? I, YouTube, you decide.